wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. You Sebastian and Flounder? <laughs> um... Is this making any sense? A little bit. I'm not sure how I can... Are you saying you need a friend right now? You can trust me. What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Okay. Are you? Look around you. Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but... But... Yeah, I got it, I got it. But your lips are sealed. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. Nah. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? Hmm? Huh? Do you? Huh. It's not how it looks that concerns me. It's what it does. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? It's got some magic bullshit on it. Great. Well... Hmm. That spell Crane talked about. Is there any way to break it? Is there something I can do about it? No! His lips are sealed! What? You can't. Just stay back. You can't do that. Slow down. It's all right. I'm not going to do anything. Please. Don't. I'm not going to hurt you. <sighs> okay. I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off, Let's try comforting her. If anyone finds out, I came here. Relax, I got this. Probably snow. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of... Trouble. I shouldn't be talking to you. Please. I won't tell anyone, don't worry. Thank you. Oh, great now. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. How many of those snowflake shirts does she have, though? I have a lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. But wait, you don't have to go. Oh, you screwed up my girl. Damn it, Snow. That was... Uh, abrupt. That's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? Yeah. I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? Some. She told me enough. I think she told both of us with the way she just left. OK, then. Good work. 
So, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night, and they're scared about what's been going on? Beauty told me she had to take out a loan from the Crooked Man. Seems like a pretty bad deal. I can only imagine what they're thinking now. You didn't even press the button! We need to solve this before something else happens. Yeah, I got that. Who knows what? Working on it. I have other matters to attend to. Well, bye. Damn. That was a little bit cold. Oh well. Alright, so let's go see what Beauty and Beast are up to, shall we? Hmm. I wish we spent a little more time with Narissa, though. Damn it. Beauty and Beast's apartment, Woodland Building at noon. Alright. And you didn't want to tell me what you were into. Well, you could read them. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that it was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just going to keep that a secret, too? You know what it was. You know what was going on here. I had to get a job, and you wouldn't no, have okay, to... Okay, now for the couple dispute. Something is wrong. <sighs> the principle of it. Don't act like you were... Come on, guys. Quit your little spat. Oh. What do you want? Hey, you well, called! You're just going around knocking on doors? Stirring the pot? Come on. You called, right? Or, uh, was it beauty? Why would I call you? Don't Listen, be a dick. I've had a shitty night. Don't you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been beauty. So I said. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I? So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Beast? Who's at the door? Are you gonna let me in or what? Thank you. It's your pal, Bigby. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Sheesh. This place looks mm. fanciful. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What's he doing here? We don't need to bring mm. into this. Talk about living in the I past. Nice portrait, though. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. Do you want to keep I don't know what the electric like bill is for that thing. Try to sort this if that was on electricity, that that's insane. We handle this on our own. We didn't have to bring it here. We're out of money and answers. That's why I called. Oh. Here, fold up. Knock it over, please. Sorry, it's been a long night. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. First time I've heard that. Say, your place? It looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating tips? Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man. I didn't know what else to do. So we should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. Oh, for That's God's sake, I come on, do. guys. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk and you don't get it? And all this comes back on us? Well, it's a good thing you're the beast. 
We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it, if you can't give us certain assurances. We're just looking for a little peace of mind in this. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. And just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? Yeah, I see we that. We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn. And we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Bullshit. Who would we be if we just lived like... Regular people? Oh no. Uh. Hi there, you've reached Beauty. And Beast. And we're out doing something fabulous. Uh, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> and we can't come to hey, the phone right now, not so done leave yet. a message at the I beat should... and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> right. Those kind of messages. Beep. That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. Cause next time, I'm making a house call. What the hell did you get yourselves into? The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. Well? All I care about is, how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. You could have told me. You had enough on your plate. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh, oh yeah. No idea. That slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the Crooked Man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but... I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the Woodsman's Axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Sometimes, fables just don't have anywhere else to go. What the hell are you doing hanging out at a place like the Lucky Pawn anyway? Sometimes fables sell things they brought from the homelands. Things you can't find anywhere else. You do know there's a difference between pawning something and selling it, don't you? I... I know that. You're buying a piece of someone else's misery. With money. You don't have. Well, that's over now. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... And what? You know that butcher shop? The cut above. It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I needed work. You have to believe us. We didn't think it would get like this. We're decent people, Bigby. Well, what are you doing? What's going on there? How does this fit into the Crooked Man's operation? I couldn't tell you. Oh, but good. I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. 
when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work, especially not where she was. It's up to me to take care of her. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. Okay. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. They get regular jobs. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Big B. Oh. Excuse me? Excuse me? Fuck off. There are a lot of fables who have it a lot worse off than you. Or me, for that matter. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Tell you what, uh, we could From go to Lucky Kong. Kong. That's where I borrowed the money. The crooked man's behind. You know that butcher shop, the cut above. The thing is, let's try the butcher shop first, shall we? I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby, once you show up there, word is gonna spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pawn after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait, I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? I've already helped you out. What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? I'll handle it. I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh. Thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Uh-huh. We'll see. That was more or less me not trying to be a flat-out asshole. Jeez, though. There's nothing I don't like more than when a bunch of people from a rich lifestyle start complaining about how they're not used to their rich lifestyle and have to adapt to a modern style of living. Jeez. Oh, that stuff gets under my skin pretty quick. Well, we'll be polite. I don't know who this Johan guy is. I'll be a nice guy. Maybe. Yeah. Very appetizing. Looks frozen solid. Who'd want to eat this? Doesn't look frozen, looks rotted. Yeesh. And empty as hell. What else we got here? I don't see these cuts anywhere in here. Hmm. Can I get a ticket? Huh. Empty. No. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. Right. Okay, well then. Ooh, what's that? That that's what Beast was talking about. Hmm. That logo looks familiar. I've seen this before. It's Big B Wolf? Hey, what's up, buddy? <clears throat> well, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? 
I'm mentioning the cut that the uh, crooked man's got for you. What do we have in stock? 